I was ready for my job when I got to here based off of the knowledge and the training and everything that I gained from UNM Gallup uh, EMS program. From 2015 to 2017 now, we are now hosting two EMT basic courses. One is with the Navajo Nation Department of Self-Reliance and Workforce. The second cohort is what we call our regular cohort, where anybody from the public or the community, should they satisfy the requirements, then they can enter into that second cohort. So we do have an increase. We are seeing entities within Arizona, even Utah, people coming across the state of New Mexico to come to our EMT program here. So career-wise, you're able to work for like an ambulance company. You can go and work for the fire department. Um, I know the hospitals here hire EMTs. It, it would be for like triage for the ER. Uh, I went into the program at UNM because I recently graduated from fire academy. So I thought I'd get into the program because fire and EMS do go together. The requirements we have to abide by is we still work with the EMS Academy, which is housed at the main campus of the University of New Mexico, Albuquerque. We, they have to be the age of 18 or older. They have to comply with all the clinical requirements, which are going to be the immunizations, along with the clearance of background checks and their drug test. And of course, you have to have your, you have to be CPR certified as well. When it, when real life comes into play, it's, it's something else. It's not like class time or lab time. So the fun part is the clinical. That's where everybody looks forward to, the clinical rotation. But yes, we do have to have our classroom setting, which consists of our didactic, if you want to call it lectures, as well as our lab sections as well. At the EMR level, we only have lab and the lectures. There's no component of the clinical rotation at all. But beginning at the EMT basic, and that's why clinical requirements are, re are required, the immunizations and background check and the drug tests, start at the basic level going into the intermediate. The instructors, they were retired uh, EMTs, so they shared their experience with us and that's what I liked the most. Um, my instructor was actually David Martin. He, he's a really, really good instructor. I really enjoyed his class. David Martin was also a retiree from Gallup Fire Department and then Sonia, she was a paramedic for the Navajo Nation EMS and they're two exceptional instructors. I mean there wasn't there was never a dumb question they've always seemed to and if they didn't know it they would actually go and research it for you and they'll come back and tell you this is what I found. We have the EMR which is emergency medical responder we have the EMT basic and then we have what we call right now the EMT intermediate we're transitioning into the AEMT which is advanced emergency medical technician. Those are the three courses along with an online course that is not for certificate. The three courses I just mentioned, the EMR, the EMT basic, as well as the EMT intermediate are offered as uh, course completion certificates. Everything fell into place as soon as I got my EMT basic license and I owe a lot to UNM Gallup and I owe a lot to the instructors because if it wasn't for them pushing me then I wouldn't have been where I am today. So. I'm really grateful. It's a really good program.